YouTubers and happy Halloween! Well, it's that time of year again, um, and if you can't tell by my getup, uh, today's Halloween special is going to be about the movie franchise Halloween. <laughs> um, now, uh, if you're if you're not aware of this, I I, I I don't know how anybody could not be aware uh, of this franchise. It's one of those like that uh, everybody knows about. But um, basically, the the mask here, um, uh, Michael Myers. He um, the movie, the very first movie starts off with him as a child, actually in a clown costume, um, and he kills his uh, older sister. Um, so, you know, kind of goes crazy, kills her, they don't know why. He gets locked up for something like 15 years, and just is completely catatonic, and then actually winds up breaking out as a, an adult, like I think he's in his 20s or something at that point. Um, so, he... <laughs> Hello. Uh. Somebody trying to join the video here. So he, um, this is Midna. No, this way, Goofus. <laughs> so anyway, um, so he, he breaks out. He's basically trying, you know, it's just, it's on Halloween, hence the name of the movie. He breaks out and he's just stalking a bunch of babysitters, basically. Um, it's, a, it's an, a, basically, it was a classic movie. It's really actually like one of the first of its kind. Like it actually came before, you know, Freddy Krueger before, uh, Jason Voorhees, um, you know, before the Friday 13th series. Um, so it was really new. It was really one of a kind at the time. And it was like the first of its kind. So it was a big hit. Um, me personally watching it now, um, I found the first one. Hi. <laughs> I found the first one. Um, yeah, I, I like the movie. Uh, but I actually think some of the later ones were a little better. Um, but, you know, I'm sure watching it then was a big difference. Um, so in the second movie, Halloween 2, they actually kind of developed the story a little more. Um, it turns out that Laurie Strode, the main character from the first movie, um, she was actually adopted. She's actually Michael Myers' sister. Um, so that kind of explains why he's kind of trying to track her down, and that's why he wants to kill her. Uh, they don't exactly really explain why he wants to kill his family, um, but he's trying to kill his sister. Um, so, you know, the, the, he breaks he breaks out again. Um, you know, once again, there's his, Dr. Loomis, um, his psychiatrist, who knows what he is, knows he's just pure evil. He tries to help track him down and uh, do, him in, do him in, basically, to, to end his reign of evil. Um, but Dr. Loomis kind of knows, he, he knows there's... He doesn't know whether Michael can actually be stopped, but he just knows that he has to try. Um, so then the third movie, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, um, they actually took a break from the Michael Myers uh, part, uh, part of the story. Um, they had kind of sort of made it seem like he died in the last one, um, like they finally stopped him. So what they, what they originally actually kind of wanted to do with the series was to make it sort of like an anthology um, series, like where it would be different stories. So... Um, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch was the first time that they tried to do that. Um, it's a very different story. It involves a, um, I believe it was a doctor who, um, who basically he, he uh, finds out that there's something up with these Halloween masks that are uh, being manufactured. There's something sinister about the company. Um, so he kind of tries to investigate and you later find out it has something to do with, with witchcraft. I, I don't want to spoil too much about it. Uh, but hence the name Season of the Witch. Um, so, so it has nothing to do so um, with with the regular with the rest of the franchise. Um, the funny thing is, I think a lot of the fans back then didn't like it. They hated it because they just wanted more Michael Myers. Um, and the funny thing is, it's you know, watching it knowing that it's not part of the regular of the rest of the franchise. Um, it's actually not a bad movie. I think if they had marketed it as something else, it actually probably wouldn't have done too badly. Um, but it seems like people just really wanted more of Michael Myers. And so for the rest of the series, that's what they got. 
Okay, so my camera battery keeps crapping out on me, so I figure I'll take the mask off, so hopefully I can see if it's doing that a little better, because with the mask I couldn't even tell, and I'm in the middle of talking, and it just craps out. Um, so anyway, Halloween 4 um, picks back up with um, with the actual with the Michael Myers story. It's Halloween 4, uh, The Return of Michael Myers. Um, so, you know, just as the title would sound, it, it goes back to the Michael Myers part of the story. Um, Lori Strode is, is said to have died in a car accident, and um, her little daughter, Jamie, uh, played by a new, uh, new actress, now a horror legend, Danielle Harris. Um, this, you know, is back when she was little, and she, um, she's uh, Jamie, um, the character name. So she is the niece of Michael Myers. Um, so it turns out, you know, Michael is not, in fact, dead, and um, it, uh, Dr. Loomis um, comes back to, uh, comes back as well, um, because he knows that Michael is going to come back, and, you know, Dr. Loomis knows what he is, he's pure evil, uh, and he knows that he's going to come back and he won't stop, so Dr. Loomis wants to do anything he can to help get Michael to stop, to help end Michael. Um, I have to say, I actually thought that number four um, and number five... Uh, to be honest, they were my favorite, too, and particularly number four, because, you know, there was just something about, they. it's, first of all, it's like, you know, he'd been there, done that, and, and you know, so the town was aware of it, and they kind of gave this proper, like this, it gave this great feel where ev everybody knew who Michael Myers was, and he was a force to be reckoned with. Um, Halloween 5, uh, The Revenge of Michael Myers, um, was still with... Uh, with the character Jamie, still still a little girl. It, was, it took place, I think, like pretty much. It was either I think it was a year after number four, if I recall. Um, and it was so the same basic story, except uh, a little corny is that now um, the little girl Jamie apparently has a um, psychic connection with Michael. Um, so that was kind of lame. But um, other than that, it was actually really good. I like I said, in my personal view, um, numbers four and five are actually the best of the series. Um, and number three, I kind of don't count, like it's, it kind of sits out on its own. The next was uh, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, and this follows along with, this, um, with the story, it progresses along. Um, Jamie is now older, she has, um, she has, she actually has a baby, uh, like in the beginning of the story, but she's sort of been locked away. Um, and Michael is still very much alive, also locked away, but he once again breaks out. Um, he comes after Jamie, comes after the baby. Um, they kind of develop the story a little more, but I'm going to be honest, not in that great of a way. It, it, it turns into like a whole conspiracy theory thing of, of like there's people that are controlling Michael or trying to help him. Um, so not one of the better ones, if you, if you ask me. Um, the next one after that is Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Um, we actually catch up with Laurie Strode, who it turns out did not in fact die in a, a car crash. Um, she faked her own death to try to get away from Michael. Um, but she's very, you know, psychologically damaged by the whole thing. It kind of ignores the past couple of movies. Like, they make no mention of her daughter, despite the fact that she has a son. Um, and she's like the headmistress or, or something of that of a, of a college um, that her son actually attends. So um, uh, she's still, she can't get over it. She's obsessed that Michael's going to come back. And of course, he does. Um, you know, and so the um, movie progresses from there. Uh, it's, it's This one, I would say, is not bad. It's one that I, I, I definitely recommend. I would watch it. Um, it's not one of the better ones, which is a shame because, you know, finally uh, Jamie Lee Curtis comes back to the series. Um, but it's not bad. The last one in the original series is Halloween Resurrection. Uh, it takes place shortly after um, the uh, Halloween H2O. So it, again, follows Jamie Lee Curtis's character, um, Laurie Strode. I forget the name that um, she changed her name to, but, you know, it follows her. And then it's also... Um, Basically, there's um, this group that's putting on a, a reality show um, in the old Myers home. And uh, guess who shows up but Michael Myers. Um, so this is also one that I would say, again, it's not one of the best in the series, but it's one that I would watch again. It's not one that I would say is, like, one of the worst in the series either. It's, it's, it's a little bit of, of on the, uh, the cheesy, lame side. Um, kind of hard to avoid that with any franchise that goes for a while. After that, of course, you've got the Rob Zombie ones. Um, now, there's a lot of a lot of people. There's there's one and two. A lot of people, um, fans of the franchise, um, are harsh critics of the Rob Zombie ones. Uh, personally, I I wasn't. I like both of them a lot. Um, I wasn't as huge of a fan, actually, of the first one. Believe it or not. 
Uh, and that's because I think that they dwelled... I, I can see kind of why maybe he wanted to do this, but I think they dwelled a little too much on Michael Myers' past as a, at, when he was a child. Uh, the thing is, it, it humanized him a little too much, and the thing is, that's one of the things that's the best about Michael Myers, is, you know, he's not, he's basically not human, even though he is a human character, he's not, it's not like he's supernatural or anything, he's not human, I mean, he gets shot six times and just gets up and walks away, he gets stabbed, he gets set on fire, and he just lives through it all, he's just, you know, nobody knows what drives him, he's just insane and just completely, there's like nothing there, he's just a, just a killer. I actually like Halloween, the Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 better than his first one, and I think a big part of that is because they had already gotten past that backstory part. So it was more the Michael Myers that we were, you know, we were expecting to usually see. So anyway, I mean, they're just iconic, classic. They're ones that I'm definitely going to put on my yearly Halloween viewing list, and um, I, I personally recommend you do as well, or just, hell, even watch them anytime throughout the year. All right, thank you, YouTubers. Have a nice day, and happy Halloween.